Hello everyone, this is Reggie with A-Team Appliance, aka the Washer Dryer Repair Nerd, and I am coming at you with another video. Hang on me. I gotta adjust this. A little bit of a glare. Um, on flipping washers and dryers. So now we're just gonna go live, well, kind of live, <laughs> on Facebook Marketplace and look for some inventory. Um, I just wanna go over Kind of walk through with you guys my selection process on flipping washers and dryers. As you know, most of my channel is about repairing washers and dryers, so now I'm kind of sharing with you how you get inventory. Um, right now, the hardest part about this business is inventory. You can Everything sells, but it's just a matter of getting inventory. Do you get it from some of these wholesale warehouses where you pay like $60, $70 per machine to buy them in bulk as is? Um, or do you, you know, um, get them from scrap guys? And I noticed buying them from directly from individuals uh, is best. Um, number one is fresh out of a home. Uh, you can buy them pretty cheap, and um, you kind of pick and choose what you what you get. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I do like and what I don't get. Again, this video is mainly for flippers. Uh, if you are an individual looking to buy a wash and dryer off of like a marketplace or an app, I highly don't recommend it because doing this, uh, picking up machines and stuff, I see a lot of people who are who don't who misrepresent the machine. Uh, most of these things aren't maintenance or anything. So if you want something that's going to last, yeah, you can get them cheaper, but you're taking a huge risk if it doesn't work, especially if you don't fix them. So anyway, um, that's out the way. Let's look. Let's look at this Samsung. Number one, Samsung. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> uh, stay away from Samsung, especially front loaders. Very pretty. Cheap, $250. Um, but usually they have off-balance issues. The bearings usually break, and the parts are difficult to get um, if if there's not discontinued, that is. Um, so let me see the description. Works well. Both sides. The washer of the dryer is a bit beat up. The sides are beat up. Bet they are, if nothing, knocking around. Uh, so that's a no. That's why I would stay away from that one. Let's go down. Well, the Samsung, look at that. Yikes. Uh, stackables. Now, stackables, you can get a very good, very good margins on them. This one's 550. That's new. He could probably sell that for about $800. But, you know, again, he's not a seller. He's just an individual selling a machine, it looks like. Um, but I would stay away from this time. Is that a GE? Looks like a GE. But those newer ones, I don't have computer issues, uh, especially the GEs. And I don't see any messages in here about it. So make sure you read the description on these things. Uh, usually they'll tell you if something's wrong. All right, hang on, I got a bit of a glare. I'll try not to. Let's see, keep going, keep going. Okay. I need to see more. Where's the see more part? All right, I didn't change this thing up so much. Where's the see more? Let's put the washer and dryer. I just. Hibi, 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 go. All right, so Ropu Duet. Four bones, a little high. Excellent condition. Okay. So uh, it's a little high. Um, it's a little, a little far from me, so I won't make an offer on it. Um, also, I like simple stuff. So, I mean, these are, I'll take a shot at, but right now I got enough project machines. Uh, on this particular set, Whirlpool Dorettes, sometimes the doors, are, the dryer doors are misaligned. Um, they're known to have bad computers, but um, one thing about front loaders, I don't drive fire to get those because you go in there and I usually spin a tub by hand. And uh, if they're off balance, that means there's a bad bearing in there. And a lot of homeowners or private sellers don't know that or they disclose that. Don't, they don't disclose it. So. Uh, old school Frigidaire. These usually have uh, door switch issues, which is a cheap repair. I've got a million door switches. Uh, you can probably buy them for like $15, $20 on 
eBay. Uh, Aubrey's gonna accept it. It's perfect condition. You got ASAP pickup only. So um, now I point out the issues with these because even though they say perfect condition, that that I don't even acknowledge that. That falls on deaf ears to me because uh, I would say at least sixty percent of the ones I pick up, people say work perfect, and I get there or I get them home, and I find something that is an issue that uh, either the customer didn't know about or blatantly couldn't not know. <laughs> so Grayson 425, a little strong for me. Um, again, if I was hard up for inventory, I would make offers. So I recommend that if you guys just have low, low inventory, make offers. You never know. Um, and be nice about it, you know, especially if it's an insulting offer. Like that said, I would offer $200 for, and I would say, uh, I will word my message. Hey, if you have a hard time selling this, I would I will come pick it. If you want to get rid of it fast, I'll come pick it up for $200. And I always throw in there, I have an appliance dolly and a trailer for easy removal. Because sometimes that's enticing to these people that, hey, oh, this guy has the equipment to actually move it. You know, I don't have to help him lift it or nothing like that. Um, or if you don't have that, a trailer or a dolly, you always say, hey, I'm coming with a second. It's two of us. You know, we should be able to take it out easily. Or you can just say, hey, I remove these things for a living. It'll be easy breezy. Um G set 385 uh, again a little high um, these newer GEs usually have timer issues and board issues very nice GE set watch dryer no kind of damage or function uh, I said Conyers decent side of town that's another thing too is if you're trying to th think about what you're gonna buy this, the parts of town does matter but typically like in a maybe a lower end part of town um, you get more dishonesty unfortunately um, as far as the descriptions, um, and then you go to higher inside of town because a lot of those people, you know, the thing starts squeaking a little bit. Up, oh, let's get a new machine. You know, the smallest thing. So usually they're, they're they sell cheap and they're minor repairs on high end in the high end sides of towns. Um, and this flipping is for um, people that live in near major near major metropolitans. That helps because you have a your pick it a litter as far as inventory and flipping is pretty pretty easy so this one's 350 which is okay because that the stackable is washer and dry up so a set which an lg set uh you stackable you could probably get if you're living there in major metropolitan uh right now in 2020 in june because <laughs> you know the market changes but uh you should probably get about seven eight hundred dollars for it um you know you know, off market, if the market is like, you know, not hot, whatever, 500 at the lowest, no matter what the market is. Um, but right now, because of COVID 19 and stuff, you stuff, you know, where unemployment is high, people look for jobs. Um, people buy used things at a higher, you know, so the, so the demand goes up for used machines. And when demand goes up, your price needs to go up because you can try to be the cheap guy and move it. And then you have nothing else to sell. So it's better to sell it high and run out of inventory than to sell it low and run out of inventory. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we're here to make moolah. He's, he posted this eight minutes ago, 350. Let's see. Some Marietta. It's a little far, but 350. I wonder if this is a customer I worked on. Let me see. <laughs> I wonder if this is the machine I worked on the other day. Cause the uh, the wash the dryer had a moisture sensor issue, sensing issue, and it was a Marietta, and it was stacked like that. Yikes! That's hard to tell. I would think she would put that on there though. I'm not gonna bid on it. This case is my customer. <laughs> I have them work fine. I have them in the garage. That would be so ironic. I showed up as a repair guy that told her, if I need a new one. That's not, I don't remember that being on there, so that's probably not it. So, when you make an offer, you don't want to put, is it still available? Because everybody does that and that's lazy. Um, so, put,
Never spell available right. Good, good for spell check. All right. Available. I own a and trailer for easy removal. Yep, yeah, because you don't want somebody to show up in a Honda Accord. To buy it. So I'm going to copy it, so I'm going to do it on the next one. Alrighty, next. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm an autopilot. Like, I'm at, uh, some words aren't one that is automatically go by, but I forgot we're doing a video. <laughs> uh, Admiral set. Okay, now these sell pretty good. Uh, $150. Um, could probably get about $400 for the set plus delivery. Uh, the only thing with these. Uh, they're very, very heavy duty, belt driven. Usually have very big tubs. Uh, they photograph pretty well. That's that's always consideration because certain certain machines actually look old in pictures. And uh, it's kind of like furniture, man. If you ever buy furniture online, I, I haven't seen furniture looks beautiful when you take a picture of it, and then you see it in person, it looks like crap. But furniture, like uh, uh, tables and stuff, they just I don't know, they're very photogenic. So. Let's see. Dryer, I will dust them off. They've been in the garage. So that means you can't test them, um, which is good, actually, because you can kind of get there. Like, oh, God, can, can I plug it in? I to, oh, you got to put it, take it in the house. Oh, so I got to buy them as it. You know, you kind of be like, oh, so I don't know. Like, you know, you can offer 100 bucks, you know, <laughs> because you can't test them, you know. Um, but. That's the risk we take. So I don't really care to test them. I use it as leverage to, to negotiate. Um, but that's a good set. It's an Auburn, which is close. And I have a driver that's close to there that can pick them up. So let's make a deal. Boom. Let's make an offer on that. So those are good margin and matching sets. Um, Again, usually, so, okay, so what do you do when you get there, right? First thing I do, I'll tilt the washer on its side and look at the pump. Um, the pump um, on those machines usually go bad. The bearing inside it goes bad. You can usually see the, 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 the bearing sleeve sticking out of it. Um, you probably Google bad Maytag washer pump to see. But, uh, yeah, and they usually make a grinding noise, you know? So um, that's usually like the number one thing with those Maytags is that pump goes bad. Sometimes it's a motor, uh, transmissions go bad, and that's a kiss of death for those for me because I'm not taking a transmission out of that machine. Um, uh, dryers are fine. The dryers, I believe that one has a top element, I think. Uh, either the top element or it's like a, uh, a speed queen, which is underneath, but I think it's on top. Um, those are really easy. If, if they don't turn on, the high limit fuses usually blow out on those things. Those are really easy fixes, man. Uh, every once in a while, the fan will go bad. The fan will break off the motor, and so that's a pain. Um, so you can test that, the dryers, by turning the drum by hand. And if you hear the rah, 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 especially if you stop turning it, you still hear something rumbling there, that fan's broken off, and I would pass on it. Um, easy to put back, put on and to, to, to install sometimes. It just depends, man. It just depends. Sometimes the motors go bad, but so that's my assessment on that set. Uh, that obviously looks like a Samsung. That's a no. Anyone with seven bones for it? Let's just, let's just entertain this one. Look at oh, that's a, that's a Kenmore. Okay, yeah. that'd be high risk though. Shoot, I'm gonna pay seven hundred dollars for that set. I mean, it looks new and all that, but that's not yeah, that's not necessarily a good thing. Let's see, L Jizzles. That looks pretty. All right, it looks pretty. Looks well taken care of. It's in coming. It's on this side of town, high end side of town. Well, depending on what part. But that's where the lake is, and uh, usually people near lakes have money. LG washer and dryer, very good condition. Local pickup only. Price is firm. 
Serious buyers only. See, this guy I would get with the, I have a truck, I have a trailer. So let's make this guy in a thing. Oh, it's been on here. It's been on for a day, so it's probably gone already, to be honest with you. So I don't expect much response from this guy. And if somebody doesn't respond, I don't even harass, man. Like, once I send my message, you're dead to me. If you if you respond, and I'm like, oh, hey. Okay, come on, man. I'm going to copy and paste. Copy. Okay, it won't, won't work. I'm going to do it manually. Okay. Yeah, so that's the three fifty. Um that set could probably move for seven hundred dollars. Um again your minimum should be fifty percent profit, hundred fifty percent, I guess. Penny pickup will let you know if they don't pick them up. Uh, now, how do you respond to this? Now this person says somebody else is picking it up. That's somebody else I respond. She ain't responding. Oh, wait, no, no, that's the wife. Yeah, you see, know my business. Uh, message again. Okay, how come it's not messaging again? I'm doing. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I'm on the wrong. Okay, there you go. Weird. Navigate this crap, man. Okay, I want to exit out of that. <laughs> Dude, where's the exit, man? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so. Somebody messaged me, and I have no idea where it's at. It's Facebook, man. Oh, there we go. Penny Pickup will let you know if they don't pick them up. Now, this is where you put... So he says pending pickup. Um, now you be a bit cutthroat <laughs> and offer more money. Say, oh, okay, no problem. If they don't pick them up, you can still be nice about it. Hey, if they don't pick them up, I'll give you four hundred dollars for the set. Now I'll extra fifty bucks. I did it the other day on a fifty dollar set. I said, hey, I'll offer you a hundred. She said, somebody's gonna only pick them up. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But if they don't show up, I'll give you a hundred for the set. And she said, hey, come get it. Boom. You know what I mean? So. Um, you, you, sometimes you got to scoop people, man, because these things sell fast, especially when they're cheap. People just are just picking them up, man. Um, this is very competitive trying to buy machines online. So somebody will pick you up, let you know if they don't pick them up. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to offer 400 for that because that's, that's a big risk, man. And I, I got to pay my guy to pick them up. Um, I'll do that now to free up time. Shit. Oops. Hang on, it looks like. All right, I don't know if I was on a different screen than you guys or not, but let's see. So no, uh, I'm recording right now. Okay. Um. This guy responded. I like to buy up. This is so. It's Facebook, man. I swear to you, this stuff be acting weird. Well, the guy replied to me. So, ah, uh, let's let's move on. <laughs> so, okay, two thirty. Now we got a Maytag washer with a Kenmore, newer Kenmore dryer. Uh, I'm going to pass on this one um, because these have bearing issues. Uh, they're very heavy duty, man. I mean, I would, 
if I was desperate for inventory, I'd do it. Like if you guys starting from scratch, I'd do this. Um, but I would spin that tub with your hand to make sure it's not a broken bearing. Um, plug it in if you can. You can even bring an extension cord and say, hey, plug me in. Put out washer and put it on spin. Um, I do warn you, though, that particular model is very heavy. <laughs> so when you deliver, ask is there stairs, and can you help me push it with my appliance dolly? Um, but that washer may be worth it. Even if the, the washer's crap, uh, if you can get this set for 200 you could probably get at least 250 300 for the dryer to get your money back if for some reason the washer is a dud. Uh, so sometimes that's the risk, you, you know, you kind of risk assessment. Um, but if you sell that set together, you might be able to get uh, four or $500 for the set. But that washer, that dryer, I mean, I would actually post them separately. The washer works. You probably get 300 for it. The dryer, you can, newer dryer, never put new, newer. Um, dryer uh, 250 300 for the dryer because yeah it's, that's a that's a nice looking dryer um both work move to house and sometimes the story helps too um both work moves and house already have a small dents on a dryer 230 no problem yeah so you move so that's a really legitimate excuse uh that gives me confidence if i were to buy this set um but people that say oh we just upgraded uh, increases the eyes that something's wrong with owning the machines, which is okay as long as you're not going into it. You know what I mean? Because we're flippers and we're repair tech, so we, we can handle that stuff. Um, but but those, those those machines I wouldn't want to touch. So anyway, this is, oh that's pretty. That is pretty. See, look at this washer. See all this stuff, all this these words and the colors. That photographs very well. Makes it look very high end when you're reselling it. Um, it's actually not a matching set, but it looks like a matching set. It's a Whirlpool washer with an Admiral dryer, which is made by Whirlpool too. Uh, four bones though, it's a little, a little too pricey, so I'm gonna have to pass on that. Um, again, if I was Low on inventory, I'd offer 200 bucks. Uh, the, the, the guy might be a flipper too, though. So, um, it looks a simple fact that it looks like it's outside. Um, but if you were to buy that, you want to verify, hey, are those stored inside? Like, <laughs> cause it's been raining, man. So, I don't know. Some people, uh, too expensive. If you can get something like this cheap, though, you can make a kill on it. Yeah, 650 is definitely. So you can see dents. I don't know what that is. Uh, pass on that. Twelve hundred dollars. Not even gonna. I won't even entertain an offer on that. Three fifty. So you, you start when these prices are close to what you would sell them for. These are probably other flippers. I move them and even gone ASAP. Well, that's not an ASAP price. Three fifty, buddy. They're matched though. Yeah, they match. See, but I, see, I would offer 200. Say, hey, I'll give you 200. I'll come get them ASAP. And when you make an offer, be ready to go pick it up. Don't be, oh, okay, I'll come get it in two days. It'll be gone. Be ready to go pick it up. But again, you know, especially if you're low on inventory, you need it right away. Uh, let's see. I don't know how all this is popping up under washer and dryers, but okay. <laughs> All right, so for just for, let's see, hang on. Let's see, we see delivery available, and that means it's a flipper, a fellow flipper. Which, I mean, you get something, like, I bought a stack the other day, uh, paid 350 for it, way more than I usually would pay, but the guy was a, a fellow flipper, he just didn't know how to price his stuff. And so I got a machine that's already been checked out, even though I'd still recheck it. Um, you know, I didn't really do much to it. Just had to test it, and it was good to go. You know, just make sure he didn't rig anything up. That's, I bypassed all the Samsung stuff. Everything's high, man. Everything's high. Well, you know, I can do that. I guess I can do the price. Sometimes it just will mess you up, though. But let's see. Three bones over fifty. That's a dealer, 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 dealer. Individual three bones. Well, I'd probably sell that set for about 350, 400. So that's a little high for me. 
But this is what you want to. This is what you want though, as far as machine wise, Kenmore stuff, direct drives. Um, if you're new to this, don't challenge yourself because <laughs> you could have fixed three or four of these in the same time you could have fixed the GE or whatever. Something something that's challenging. Stick to direct drives, man. Stick to direct drives. That's clean too. So, yeah, if that was price right, man. I'd be all over it. Again, if I was hard up for inventory, I'd, have, I'd offer it a deuce. But sometimes, see, you make offers, though, you got to be ready to go get it. Because they're like, yes. And then you'd be like, how on your way there? Oh, no, somebody else paid full price. They, they already got it. Why don't you tell me? Uh, that's a GE 250, a little high. Everything's high right now, man, because you stuff is just flying. And if you find something on here listed for like $100 for a set or something, go get it. Even if you get like a $20 deposit through a cash app or something, do what you got to do, man. Say, hey, hold it for me. On my way. That no hold stuff. Like, okay, well, if they say it's no holds, like, I'm coming to get it, no holds. Like, then, you know, and then, like I said, tomorrow, then I, I don't do business with them because uh, they'll have you driving halfway there and then. Be like, oh no, somebody came and got it. They beat you to it. Or curb pickups. I don't do don't do curb pickups. It's just not worth worth your time, man. Having to race and try to beat somebody to it. You could be on here finding something. So anyway, most people have a professional courtesy where they will do first come first serve, but first respond. So if you'd be like, hey, I'm coming to get it, they be like, okay, cool. And then if you know if you don't show up, I'll give it to the next person. That's usually how it works, but not everybody has those type of courtesies. Uh, this one I would 150. It has to work, work, man. Like these right here, always got transmission issues. Uh, this GE uh, washer. If you uh, now when you check this, um, look underneath here. Maybe I can see my cursor. Um, and be sure when you hand track it, don't bend that bottom because that bottom will bend. And when you put a full load of clothes in there, it'll hit that bottom and start scraping. Screak, screak, screak. You think something wrong with it. Uh, you take this, this panel off. There's like a uh, clip here and a clip here. You use a, a flathead screwdriver or a putty knife and op open that panel. And you just, just use your boot and kick it down or use a hammer or something. Just push that panel down. Sometimes you take the screws off and it'll sag a little bit. Um, this dryer, this is a GE dryer. G profile dryer, uh, known to have board issues. Um, you know, that's just an ugly combination, to be honest with you. <laughs> but hey, you can still sell this set for about $300. Yep. So it must go this weekend. Pottery washer dryer, cash only, must sell this weekend. Yeah, so you know, that's, you know, and this probably has, I think that's that probably has a stainless steel tub, so that'd be a nice one. It's not for me right now. Uh, this Maytag Centennial, uh, man, if this thing works right, you're talking about at least five, six hundred dollars sale on that set. Problem is the dryer. So this guy's it's all electronics. Uh, boards go bad on these, and you have off balance issues with the tub stabilizers. Um, so if you resell it, you may have to look out for a phone call. Customer saying it's knocking and banging. Um, usually, you know, and, and if just, you know, yeah, just people, if somebody already has one, then they know how to load it and it's not a big, as big an issue when you're reselling. But people with, when you sell these types of people, you got to tell them, Hey, you got to load it evenly. Uh, sometimes the tub stabilizers are bad. Um, uh, you can replace them right now. You probably get them for like 50, $60 online. Um, but if the customer still doesn't balance it, man, it's, it's a, it's a it's a phone call. You know, you might get a phone call, you know, saying the machine don't work. Or it's, it's all balance. Um, because, you know, again, the prices I'm quoting are with warranty plus delivery. So um, if you might if you have a question in your head, well, why would somebody buy mine for 500 if they sell for 250 online? Number one, they don't have the ability to, to jump in a truck and go pick these up. Uh, number two is something goes wrong with them. They don't have the ability to fix them. They're going to pay somebody, which is back to 500 anyway. 
Uh, also, we don't just buy and repost. We buy refurbish, then re repost, resell. Um, you know, you want to refurbish the dryer. Even if people say they work, you still have to clean the dryer vents and ducts out, check all the electricals on them, make sure nobody bypass stuff. Uh, the washer, you still need to test, clean the pump out, um, and make sure your customer is getting a quality machine. I offer 60-day warranties. Um, and so that's a value. So, um, you know, it's the difference between wholesale and retail, uh, no matter what you're selling. There's always, there's, there's margin in between there. And that's why we're able to provide such, you know, su this service for customers, um, because we go through them. So this is a beautiful set. It looks like a, a flip fellow flipper. So, uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me um i'm going to release more videos like this um just giving guidance for fellow flippers of washers and dryers um it's it's a I guess you could say it's recession proof business man um i know during the lockdown uh i was making well usually takes a month for me to to make i was making in a week uh it was a good it was a very, I mean, if there's any silver lining, I guess, I mean, people were dying. And so, uh, it, you know, it's, it's very bad about that. But just talking about uh, the appliance business, um, it was a good supply of machines to buy online. And it was a good supply of people buying. People were buying left and right. People that typically go to the laundromat. Uh, I guess they're the stimulus money. And, and right now, even right now, it's still an uptick. I mean, it was straight up like this. Now it's kind of flattened a little bit, but it's flattened on a high. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, just with anything used, man, and, and when unemployment's high, uh, things just go, you know, use, use things just have more of a value. Okay, some point. I was looking for a mountain bike right now, especially outdoor stuff. I was looking to buy a mountain bike because mine was busted and I couldn't find a real wheel for it. And there's none in Walmart. I said, all right, let me check online. Man, usually you can buy a mountain bike for like 50 bucks online. Man, now $150, $200, nothing less uh, for an adult bike. It was crazy, man. And so uh, the values, everything went up. So that's what it is. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that's a good way of giving me a thank you for sharing this information. Uh, helps keep the channel going, um, helps pay for my time, uh, and also helps the YouTube alg algorithms um, get the word out there that, hey, there's a guy on here giving free game about um, the appliance business and how to flip washers and dryers. Um, this is a great business, uh, especially if you're unemployed, uh, if you don't have a lot of startup capital. Um, this, I mean, we're buying machines here, but you can put an ad on here saying free, uh, appliance pickup and you'll get calls. People want you to take stuff out of the house. So there's, so again, there's, there's people who knows there's value in their machines even if they're broke and they'll put it on there. There's other people that say, I just want to, this ain't what I do. I just want it gone. I don't want to pay somebody to come take it. I mean, it, it's people get paid to take stuff out. Um, but you can offer your services for free and get started that way. Um, and uh, again, it is my channel. There's plenty of channels that show how to repair these things. But again, stick to Direct Drive, which is Whirlpool products, the old school stuff. Uh, if you're just starting out, stay away from the computerized stuff. Um, stay away from stuff like you, you'll have, which you think would be a good deal, GEs and Frigidaires. People try to give that stuff away. There's a reason. So, I mean, you know, the time it takes to fix one of those, you can have three or four direct drives fixed. Um, and then they're a nightmare if the customer calls you back because it doesn't work. So, um, anyway, this is Reggie, the washer dryer repair nerd, a.k.a. A-Team Appliance, with another video. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, and I thank you ahead of time.